Today's wig is brought to you by Hair So Fly Shop. I'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also their direct store. The wig that I have today is Bobbi Boss Synthetic Boss Lace Wig in the style MLF 233 Avery. The color that I have is HL27S Berry. Here is a close up of what the inside of the wig looks like. It states that it's a 13 by 4 hand tied lace parting. The lace is HD transparent. You get two combs behind the lace parting, another comb in the nape area with adjustable straps. The cap material is a stretch fit breathable material. Also, the lace is coming off very gray on my skin. You guys know I'm going to try my best to go in and tint that. The texture of the hair is on the silky side. As for the color, it's a dark berry purple color, kind of bluish purple with a blonde highlight in the front. This is how the wig looks straight out of the box. The hairline comes lightly pre-plucked and you also get baby hairs and the wig came as a middle part. I would like the parting space a little bit more flatter, so I'm going in with my Andis hot comb and the temperature that I have it on is number five. So I'm just pressing down that parting space, getting it nice and flat. I'm also gonna go in and press down the hairline by mostly pressing down by the forehead. And I would like that little hump in the front. So in order to get that, I just take my hot comb and run it halfway through by the roots. And then I bring the front down a little bit and that's how you get that little hump in the front. The hair luster is coming off a bit shiny to me, so I would like to go in and dim down that shine. I'm going to use my Canera Volume Dry Shampoo and just spray it all over the hair. After I go in and spray it, I just take my rat tail comb and just lightly comb the product into the hair and that white residue start disappearing. When I was styling the wig, my camera died, but after that, that was pretty much all I did. Then I went in and cut off the lace, and right here's my end results. Hey guys, so now it is time for the install. And when I first received the wig, I had to like really open my eyes because i'm like is that purple is that green what so with hair so flat i requested the same color that the model is doing because on the website it says that the model is wearing like this berry color but when i look at the model on the website it looked like the hair was black with a blonde highlight streak something told me told me to go with the color number two but i was like nah that color that the model is rocking is dope so i guess bobby boss is on their little anime ish i still try to make the best out of it because the color blend is a little weird to me i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie but i feel like the style of the wig makes it more dope so hopefully i can pull it off on inside the wig, I already went ahead and applied my makeup powder. I applied it in a T, so I applied it to the hairline and the parting space. I don't apply it all over the lace because I don't use all that other lace. So that's like me wasting product. And I was like, nah. <laughs> right here is where I hooked my adjustable straps. I hooked them pretty close so my wig can be nice and snug. 
If you guys are wondering the powder that I used, it is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 355. I just like to use powder because to me it just, it works for me, it's more natural. So hopefully it blends and if it doesn't blend, and then I have to go in with another product. Now I'm going in with a brown nude stocking cap. And I feel like the ends in the middle is a little stringy. So I'm just gonna take my tail comb and just comb it out a bit to get rid of that stringy look because I don't really like that right now. Just in the back, I don't wanna touch the front. Okay, time for the install. too bad just not too bad hold on i need to get used to it let, let me finish it but yeah you guys can see the purple the blue the highlight piece in the front hmm let me finish so i'm gonna go in and style my baby hairs and style my baby hairs i'm gonna use the yellow got to be glued styling Spiking gel. I don't know why I thought I saw sparkling gel. Oh my god. I need to start really reading stuff before I talk The yellow got to be glue gel on the baby hairs. Let's go Right here is my end result, and I must say, okay, Bobby Boss, I see you making a comeback. This is actually pretty cute. I'm loving how the front looks. When I was styling the wig, I didn't get any tangling. As for shedding, shedding was very low. This wig is big head friendly. I do have a lot of stretch cap room left in there. If you have a small head, just tie the adjustable straps or crisscross the adjustable straps. I was also nervous about the color on me, but I actually like the color scheme that they did. It's really cute. As for the back, I'm not really feeling the back too much with those flyaway ends. If I knew the back looked like that, I would have went in and curled it, but it's still not a bad wig, especially for the springtime. And the density of the hair is on the low side, and it's okay with me because it goes with the style of the wig. The lace is blending in really nicely with my skin. I don't have no spray on the hairline, so the fact that it's blending in really nicely works for me because you guys know I don't love spraying too much product onto the hairline unless it's for the air tabs. And you get a lot of parting space, so I like it. I'm definitely going to repurchase this wig again and get it in a color number two. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. This was just a wig show and tell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, you guys.